So the problem we have now, as we can see here, is the way it rotates. And what I'm going to do to demonstrate this further is open up our rotate tools and switch to gimbal. And this is showing us exactly what the rotation of each joint is going to do. So if we rotate Z, we can see that X and Y rotate with it. Rotate X, nothing else rotates with it. Rotate Y, and X rotates with that. And that's because of the rotation order on the joints, uh, but we'll come to that in a second. But as you can see, because of the axis of this joint, we come to rotate the Y joint, that doesn't really rotate properly. We rotate the X joint and the arm goes a bit funny. Now by default, as we saw in the settings, Maya will try to point the axes correctly. Um, what I've done is I've purposefully gone in and reset all the axes on this skeleton just to demonstrate. So how do we look at these rotational axes? So select the root joint, go to edit, select hierarchy, then we're going to go to Display, Transform Display, Local Rotational Axes. Just make sure they're all, that's it. So here we can see where these axes are pointing. X is just pointing out, Z, they're basically just copying the real world axes and that's because I reset them. We want them to point down the bone, Y pointing up and Z pointing forward. So let's just hide the model for now. How do we reset these if for any reason they've been broken or there's something wrong with them in your model or you need to readjust them? So we just go to our skeleton orient joint tool. And as you can see here, it's pretty much the same as how it was when we were creating our joints. We have our primary axis, secondary axis, secondary axis world orientation. What you can do is once you've set this, so we're setting it back to its default, it will try to do the uh, children of the selected joints. So if I apply it to, if I apply it here, it will also try and apply it down here. So let's just click apply. As you can see, X is pointing down the joint, Y is pointing up, and it's copied that right down to here. Now you need to check your wrist. And as you can see, we basically, we still want X to point directly forward, so we need to play around with that one a little bit more. So what we could do is maybe orient joint to the world, click apply, although that's done it to the uh, children as well. So let's turn that off, click apply, and that's reset the joint, re reset that orientation for us, but it's also sort of kept in mind the general orientation of where the joints are going and coming from. So now we've fixed that wrist, so it's pointing straight down the hand, which is much better, just by orientating that joint to the world. So we now need to go in and just make sure these all rotate correctly. I mean, just looking at them, they do. The best thing to do, select a few and rotate and just see if that's exactly how your finger needs to rotate. Now the thumb, this is a bit different. If you look at your way your thumb rotates, it doesn't just rotate up and down. We need it to rotate in sort of a 45 degree angle. Now we're not going to use the orient joint options for here. Um, I've demonstrated that on the arm and you just need to go through and fix them up for the rest of the body depending on how you want this character to rotate. I've also just skipped, realised I've just skipped a bit. Okay, well we'll come back to that. Ignore the fact that uh, this skeleton has both sides. In fact, I'm going to delete one side now because this is what you this is where you should be at. That's better. Right. Getting sidetracked. So yeah, we want to fix the rotations on the uh, thumb. And we're fixing the rotations now because we're going to mirror the joints across so we need the rotations to be uh, the rotational axes to be fixed right so if we want to go in and edit these rotational axes individually we can't just rotate the joints because the joints rotate too let's close that down what we need to do is click on here go over to our uh, question mark right click 
and select rotational axes. That will now allow us to go in, select those, and we can physically rotate them. As you can see, it's refusing to work for some reason. Let's have a look. Do them individually. Let's just make sure these aren't locked. Let's open up the attributes. Okay, just record, uh, pause the video there while I tried to figure out what was wrong and it was because we have this set to gimbal. If we set it back to local, that will allow us to then go in. Oops. Select our rotational axes and then we can rotate those. So now the, the thumb will rotate in that sort of 45 degree angle. You can undo that. If you see down here, we have a bit of Mel script here. If we copy that, oops, okay, let me just open up the script editor, just bring it down, let's try this, copy that, paste it, if you see here this is exactly what we did, we rotated it but it was 36.487, if we want to rotate that an exact 45 degrees we can just select that change that to 45, press enter, and that's given us an exact value. So now if we go back into our thumb, that can rotate underneath the hand as it should. So there are a number of ways for editing your rotational axes. One other area I want to touch upon before we mirror the skeleton uh, and end this first video is uh, basically the rotation order. And we touched upon this earlier we set this to gimbal this will demonstrate this uh, nicely so what we saw earlier was uh, the beginnings of gimbal lock if we rotate ar around the y-axis you see X and Z become overlapping so then you can't rotate these individually and that's gimbal lock if we rotate Y uh, rotate Z sorry Y and uh, X rotate with it so that's fine. Rotate X and nothing rotates with that. So you have to think about what is going to be the primary rotation for that particular joint. If we open up the attributes, you can see here we have rotation order and we have these on everything, on every joint. You need to change this according to what it is, uh, how it is you're going to rotate. So at the moment it's set to X, Y, Z and it's sort of reversed. So Z will rotate Y and X as we saw. Y will affect uh, X, so if we rotate Y, yep, that's true. So X doesn't affect anything. So in the case of the shoulder, we do want Z to control these two because we lower the arm, we want the arm to move forwards and backwards. And twisting the arm, we want to be able to twist the arm wherever we want. So that kind of works okay for the shoulder. You may need, want to play around with these and uh, you, you may come up with a different option. As you can see, there's lots to choose from. You just need to make sure Z is the primary uh, controller really. Well, in this case, Z is because it's at the end of the, uh, of the list. So the elbow, for example, Y is going to be the primary rotation so we need to put y at the end so maybe we try zxy so y is now controlling z and x but we also want x to be secondary now there's no z rotation really on the arm unless you're doing some sort of funky rig where you've got that sort of degree of freedom so maybe we want x to be last again so y, z, x, so y controls them all, z controls x, x doesn't control any. So there, y is our primary movement, so we've made that and changed the rotation order to show that. 
So that's basically it. You need to, at this stage, you go through, check your rotational axes, just to make sure every joint rotates correctly, and then go in and adjust your rotation order on your main joints. Once you've done that, let's, uh, again, let's hide this guy and bring back our final skeleton. Let's just edit, select hierarchy. So here are our axes all fixed nicely. You'll see the spine is reset just uh, because of the way it moves. And that's just a personal preference. Again, you can uh, set that however you like. So let's get rid of the uh, rotational axes now. Uh, what am I looking for? There we go. 